The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi, I'm Basil Chapman. Yo, this is Wednesday. Wednesday, the 5th of January. We're looking at the Dow. Uh, having made an all-time high yesterday, went right to that trend line resistance. Uh, it went to 36,934. Now, leg D, that's our objective in the Chapman Wave methodology. The reason why we went back to the buy signal uh, at about 35,100 was uh, we were looking for the chance that it went above the 36,189 uh, level that was made back in uh, late, well, third week of November, of December, and that it would move, move to a leg C and then a leg D. It's just done that. It's met all the requirements. Normally, this is where we would start to look at the short side, but I think this is such a select market and the way that uh, we saw the IAI, which is the broker dealer index, soar to the upside over the last two days suggests to me that there's still some intrinsic buying, even though the QQQ, the NDX 100, is acting very poorly. It's down $1.45 pre market at $3.95. Uh, look at that, that Chapman Wave inside track resistance level with a kind of a fan um, pattern right here. Uh, lower, so the declining trend lines, there are three of them right now. This one right here says that if the QQQ NDX 100 is able to trade into the 405s anytime in the first uh, two weeks, I'd say, of January, that would be really good action. But in the meantime, it's more sideways to a digestive phase that we're looking at. And one of the things we saw yesterday, absolutely, was that some of those spectacular stocks in the NASDAQ, especially the NASDAQ 50, especially the NASDAQ 20, actually, going into the highs uh, towards the th th third part of the year, the last quarter of the year, and then started to tank they are still under tremendous pressure. And that's why I think value is what we're looking at, probably dividend stocks, value stocks. And in the Dow, which is the Dow 30, it's not the Dow Industrials anymore. Even there, we're starting to look at a very good action, but you can't deny that something like a deer, which is really a cyclical deer and company tractors, DE is a symbol, up pre-market, up $1.71 at 373. Uh, is that tackling the left side high that was made at peak F, the Chapman wave on the 24th of November at 174.54? Uh, yep, it's getting close. Um, and you can see why it's so it's so important. You've got a declining trend line here in the weekly chart. It's about to tackle. And it's got a the same pattern in the monthly chart. But it's really a, I'd like to do this. I'm going to do it right now call it more like an oval pattern here. And if it breaks out, deer, in fact, and I will look at Caterpillar in a moment, uh, deer could, in fact, start a leg C in the 400s. That's quite a way to go, 27 points. But I'm just saying that in this rotation where you see stocks like a, a Microsoft, where did that go? Where did I type that? Let me try that again. Like a Microsoft <laughs> right here. Microsoft uh, trading down not making all-time high, the 349.67, high of the 22nd of November, peak F in the daily, peak E in the weekly, and a leg D going going to a peak D in the monthly. Still nothing negative at all. But other than to say, this is part, looks like the QQQ. It's just a digestive pattern that we're looking at right now. All right, let's continue. We want to look at, we'll just look at the YM for the moment because that's the futures. And right now the YM, this is the Dow futures, is trading down uh, 25 points after making a leg E yesterday. Chapman wave, that's where we start to become quite cautious. But look, the MACD, the moving average is good. The stochastics flat at 90%. You love that. On balance volume isn't overbought. Nine period is over the 14. I think that we're looking at a rotation here that says certain areas, and we'll get to that in a moment, are starting to weaken. Look at the ES. The ES is the um, continuous contract of the S&P futures. Uh, it's down 
475 right now, 4777. What we're looking at here is this oval pattern. It says a break to the upside will uh, could be a recycle of, of the pattern, but I'm treating this quite seriously as a potential peak F that we're looking at. And it says any close below 4737 in the next few days, today's Wednesday, we haven't even started the session. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, three sessions we've got. If there is a close below 47.37 under the 14 period moving average, that suggests that that rotation is starting to be very selective. And let's look at the NQ, which is the uh, index 100 futures, uh, down 73 at 16,203. It's only down 0.45%. Uh, but look, it's being repelled to the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. So this is what I'm talking about in the selectivity. The SMHs, the SMH, which is a semiconductor index, down 2.21 at 3.11. But it's really bumping up against the 3.17, 3.18 uh, all-time highs. Was that an all-time high yesterday? 318, whoa, if I can see that, 318.69, and here we go, oh, just under, this is what I've been talking about for months, how often is it that we see, after weeks and weeks, prices of stocks and, and indexes come back and they come within pennies of the previous high. That creates a barrier to the upside, which makes it very clear that if there's a sharp move to the upside above that, you've now turned resistance into support. We haven't done that yet. And I suggest to you that the semiconductors, wow, everything I read, uh, so many conflicting signals. And then there was this fire in Berlin in the in this fab. Um, and that's going to create, a, maybe create another shortage. Oh, 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 oh. But this is going to be very interesting because later on in 2022, I think there's going to be a glut in the semis. But in the meantime, look how well they are holding right here. So let's watch this very closely over the next two weeks. Semiconductor index going to the 325 is spectacular action. All-time highs, breaks out. Uh, starts, starts to slide under 305, actually starts to trade at 302 or lower, says, you know what, we're in a consolidate, at best we're in a consolidation phase, at worst we're going to take out the low and go down to 285. So let's just treat it that way. Let's look at the QQQ a little closer. QQQ 396, I said under 395 would be a real problem. Yesterday, what did it do? As I was talking, in fact, it went to 393.29. So I'm suggesting to you that the rotation is very select right now. It's favoring the Dow. It's favoring, uh, let me just see, I said, I'd look at Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Oh, my goodness, look at that Caterpillar spike to the upside. It's favoring the Caterpillars of the world, and that helps the Dow. Wait a minute. Let's also look at crude oil, because this is important. As long as crude oil is acting well, Res CL is not. That's Colgate Palmolive. And that's just the whole dichotomy of what I'm looking at here. Look at this. Colgate Palmolive, peak A, peak B, peak C, should still go to a leg D, uh, all time high. <laughs> How do you get the defensive stock, not defense ratio, and I'm talking about defensive stocks like a Colgate at new highs when the Dow made a new high, when the S&P the other day made a new high? What a dichotomy we've got in this market where it's, that's what I see to subscribe. Let's stay with our positions. We've got some that we know are very overbought and are going to take a bit of a dive. We love those in the longer term. Let's see what happens here. And then we've got some other positions that are just sort of kicking right now. We'll be looking. As soon as we return, we continue. We want to look at uh, the TLT, which is really important. I'll be right back. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at DFNN.com. Sign up 
today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hello, we're back. Basil Chapman, early edition of the Tiger Technicians Hour. It will be repeated at 10 o'clock on the other day. And we'll look at, I will not be here tomorrow. Uh, we'll look at an ADP report which is a December U.S. Employment Survey plus 807K versus the 400,000 expected. Uh, 400,000, that, that is double. That is really impressive. Uh, we'll see what happens here with the market. Let's see, see the TLT because that's important. The TLT is trading 143.95, up 25 cents, had a whopper of a move from 152.99 back in early December to yesterday's low of 142.20, was it? 142.74. And uh, that is just saying that the TNX, TNX.X, there we go. Look at that. Had a huge doji leg D to the upside. And is that today's action? Uh, so, yep, the fourth. No, that's yesterday's. Wow, look at that. Uh, almost, ho ho, just missed going to a new a recovery high 16.93 and yesterday was 16.86 uh, uh, that's 1.68 percent so that's really important and what we're looking at here that that monthly is just slowly but slowly the technicals are improving it looks to me like those rates already want to go higher and i think that that's going to be a somewhat of an impact in the market meantime back at the rest this, we were looking at crude oil a little earlier on and crude oil is trading at uh, let's see, it's trading at 77.47, up 48 cents. It has started a leg D to the upside within the rectangle formation. Maybe it's getting close to some kind of a resistance area, but I like the fact that it's moving higher. I like the fact that crude oil is telling us that the economy is doing okay. You wouldn't have crude oil, even though there's a political content. You really wouldn't have crude oil in the middle of the range from the 80, 84, almost 85 area, the continuous contract down to the 62 and a half, 63 area, comes back to 77, right in the middle. You wouldn't have this. This would be much lower if there was more recessionary type action. But talking about recessionary type action, look at Syntas. What a move down over the last two days. Yeah, Syntas, which is, uh, this is overalls, uniforms, rentals, trading at 425. Had an all-time high, had an open on the 13th of December, around number 458, spiked high, made a peak C1, C2 in the Chapman Wave, a double top, 
and then pulls back from the 460, 61 area, comes tumbling down, and we're looking at it now at 425, peak D in the weekly chart, only a B in the monthly. Now, let me just do this. Peak B in the monthly, leg B in the monthly. I have to wait all of January to say it's going to be a peak. But wait a minute. What do we have here? Let's go to the S&P itself, the SPX.X. There we are. S&P makes an all-time high, leg F yesterday, um, and also it's expanding wedge formation. I, I love this pattern because it looks so important. And then all of a sudden you look at it about five, six, seven bars later and you say, oh, okay. <laughs> it wasn't that important. It was really more a sideways move. And we're looking at it right here. This is at 479, 3.54. A close yesterday. Obviously, it's down about uh, uh, four or five points in the futures. Uh, and I'm watching this very closely because, let me just say this again. This is a monthly chart leg B. Because we made a new high yesterday, it extends to January a leg B in the Chapman Wave methodology. Just keep it as simple as possible. Yes, it can fail, but as simple as possible says you try to identify the lowest low bar. You merely count each successively higher peak alphabetically, A all the way to G, but it's that not the seventh high, but the fourth highest peak at D, A, B, C, P, D, that other things can happen. You can have the sharper move down. You can have an instant restart that says, wow, you're going to have a brand new four peaks to the upside. That is amazing. Um, then at the same time, you're also looking at um, all sorts of things can happen from peak D. It could recycle. It could just, yeah, we are at D. Um, and it could go even to an E and then have the sharpest move. But D is where you raise your foot of the accelerator, hover over the brake and say, all right, now show me just a momentary, momentary caution, uh, cautionary aspect so that we can see what happens next. And it's as simple as that. And here we are. So within this context, that's the reason why I said, oh, there were so many temptations. I had this already yesterday to, to during the day when the Dow was making this expect, uh, one wonderful move up 300 points at an all-time high. I was going to send out a, a, an email to my subscribers to my opening call and say, okay, we've taken a couple of little bits off our long position. Let's switch to short. And then I thought, this is really a rotational market. Treat with respect anything that's working well and treat with disrespect anything that's not, or doesn't have to be disrespect, but observe in a negative way what's not working. All right. And now all of a sudden, look, I can tell you from firsthand experience that this that the different genres of COVID, the metamorphosis into different uh, different degrees of intensity, is at a peak now. This is what I call the internal low for the COVID was a couple of months ago. Now we're getting the residual low where it sounds like, like everybody's getting it. In fact, more and more people, I mean, just in my own family, I have uh, three, four, five, five members um, that have had COVID. And in not every case, but almost every case, they are just feeling fine. They are doing everything. <laughs> Even my, my grandson skateboarding away with the mask on. Um, but at the same time, um, the numbers are impacting so many people and they are having a de de deleterious effect because it means that families, you know, if you, if you have kids going to school, and all that, it just is so disruptive. So this is the, you got the the earth the, the earthquake, and then you get the aftershock, or you got the internal low and the residual low, and that's what I had said about the low that was made. Uh, back on December the 1st. I said, is that going to be an internal low with some kind of a residual low where this is the emotional response, but all the technicals have already repaired themselves, so it's getting ready for another big move to the upside? I don't know, but I like to put these things in the categories. And at this particular point, I'm saying COVID is in the residual low area. In other words, uh, when we're looking at something like a Disney, here we go, D-I-S, a Disney... 
Uh, off the 142 low, having made a 203 all-time high back in March, I mean 203 down to 142, I'd say that's a you know, 25. That's a that's a that's a big percentage decline. But is Disney getting ready for something in the spring that says, you know what, the worst really is over, and that we will be coming back, and by the summer, by midsummer. This is a stock that's going to improve and improve and improve. I think that's the chance that you that that, uh, that if you're looking at odds, this is greater than 50 percent that Disney is making some kind of a load between the 142 and 155 area, and then at some point it'll be a recovery stock. This look at Marriott, M A R. Marriott had an all-time high um, back in. October, November in the 173 area, pulls back all the way to 140, it's 30 points, and now it's in leg D to the upside. Uh, it's a roll time high, I'll be back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Hi folks, we're back. Bowser Chapman, early edition. This is now, what, 10.30-ish? Yep, 10.38. Well, maybe we've got some kind of report going on right now. We don't see it. But in the meantime, I just want to show you, look, the IWM, the Russell 2000, holding really well here. It's in leg B, uh, coming off a 212 low. It had a 244.46 all-time high. Yeah, that was a pretty big dip. Uh, but at the same time, it is holding well. If the IWM, the Russell 2000, uh, starts to uh, break towards the 227 and 228 level anytime this week, um, especially if the queues are a little bit weaker or the semis are pulling back a tad, I would suggest to you that the uh, action in the small caps 
is going to be impressive enough to have a lot of fund managers start to look at this area. It might not just be the IWM. It could be the Russell 2000, uh, 3000, 1000, whatever it is. Uh, I think that what we're looking at here is the chance that in this ro rotational uh, corrective mode that the market has been in whenever it consolidates, and has done that since the summer of 2010, I would suggest to you that perhaps money will start to flow for a good part of January into the small caps, but there's no good flowing in. You want to see flow with go. In other words, 85% in the stochastic and flat, that's great. MACD is good. Price is not as good as it should be with these technicals because the on-balance volume is just not showing strength. So you need to see price because if it starts to slide under 219 at any point, that is a big problem. So this is the area I'd be keeping an eye on just to say, hey, maybe the small caps are going to become part of this rotational correction. I wanted to show you something else. We have the DBA, which is the... Um, uh, DB Agricultural Fund. It's holding very nicely here. We're in from the uh, uh, 1377 area. Australia in 1980 has hit 20.23 already. But really what's important is, look, wheat, dust wheat, right down at the bottom. It's just been acting terribly lately. But look at soybeans. Soybeans has gone to a new recovery high, not all-time high. That's way up in the uh, the most recent high was back in uh, the spring. It hit 1,600 area. It dropped down to the 1,200 area. Now it's a, thir a 13, what is it looking at? Right, 1,386, down three. I'm calling this a leg F. It might have restarted with a Chapman Wave instant restart. Let me tell you how many times, I can't even tell you how many times we've seen the Chapman Wave instant restart become such a, an incredible vehicle to, to suggest that prices are moving up with a different, uh, a different, here we go, chapman wave notation, that this could be a B. I'm calling it an F for now because the MACD is good. Stochastic saying, look, it's a little tight. It's at 80% on balance volume. So it's a little bit overbought, but leg B in the weekly. That's wheat. Look at corn. I mean, yeah, corn. Corn is in that, uh, it made a peak F top. At around about 616, it drops quickly to the 684 area. Now it's at 80, uh, sorry, 606, so it dropped down to the 584, and now it's at 606. Um, it's holding quite nicely. It's in the rectangle formation. That just says you've got yourself a stair-step move that can take a long time, but it should continue walking the 9 and 14 period moving averages in the weekly chart to try to get close to the high of 629-ish around about the second we uh, second of uh, of July, the week of the second of July. So it's it and that'll start legs. See if it can just pop a little bit above in the monthly charts. So that's acting well. Look at sugar SB. Uh, sugar is trading right at the low. It looks very much like um, uh, wheat. Does wheat? And here it is down at the bottom. Uh, continuous contract. So I, I suspect that the grains will rotate. In, uh, on the upside, we'll see sudden spikes. Now, what, the other thing I want to look at here was uh, just I want to. I, I had a question about this. Oh, I, I'm going to get back to the gold. Look, this is the look at the bonds. Look at this peak E at 164 something or other, 164 and 530 seconds back on the third the third of December, and here it is at 150. So this uh, looks like a stock. This is what stocks do, not bonds. Yeah, look at that. That's a whopper of a pullback at the 156 and 31, 30 second level right now. Oh, got to watch this closely because the monthly chart says, be careful, there could be a dreaded H. Now, talking about uh, these different areas, let's look at uh, the dollar. The dollar's down today, 20 ticks at 96.10, but it's in a rectangle formation. Usually, the rectangle, the longer the rectangle goes, the greater chances are that you're going to break you can even pop to the upside, but you are going to break the bottom before it tries to come back into the middle of the range. So that says 95.50 is really important support for the dollar. And if you do that, let's look at the EUR USD. And I had a question um, in uh, Tiger YouTube. So this is A, B, C. Yeah, we've got our C in the uh, euro. But it's also just a sideways. We have to consider this a rectangle formation for now. Uh, it, it, at one point, one three, 
it really needs to get to 1.14 to say, I'm done with this whole lower range. I'm now in the upper range. I'm breaking out. Looking at um, Newmont Mining, yes, look at this. Newmont Mining makes a low in the 52 area just the beginning of December. Here it is at 62. Well, at trading today at 60.79, up 36 cents pre-market. Um, yeah, but the monthly chart says just it could have these bounces, but it's really stuck. And that 200 period moving average in the daily at 59, uh, 5980, that is going to be like a magnet. It'll keep trying to go until it starts to trade above 6280, 6320, that, that area. Um, this is a magnet. That 200 period moving average is treated. Look, it was a repellent zone. A repellent zone now is a propellant zone. And let's see if it stays a propellant zone, if there's any pullback in your mind. It's acting really well considering uh, many of the other gold stocks, but it is still stuck in a range as far as I'm concerned. Fabulous action. What you really want to see is the weekly chart close above this candle right here, the high of. Uh, 63.46. Yes, it needs to close above 63.46. And it's at 60.43 right now. Newmont Mining, NEM, trading at 60.79, uh, up 36 cents pre-market. Now, a couple of things I want you to talk about. The VIX index is really important. V-I-X dot X. Uh, yeah. So the VIX is trading at 17.06. If at any point, it's not a one-day pop, but if at any point, certainly the beginning of next week, if we start seeing the volatility index trading in the 19.80, let's call it 20, 20.20 or higher area, and even close at that high any particular day, that's going to suggest that we are starting to see, and that's where the big test comes, do um, do we see the QQQ NDX 100 start to push underneath 3, uh, 389, 390 is the next key support? Does it go three under that? Does the semiconductor finally say, hey, I I'm done here. I've, I've given you my absolute best, but in fact, um, I'm done. <laughs> and break under the 305 area, maybe 302, you start to see that with the volatility index, the Dow can't do it by itself. The general can't move without the troops. So that would impact all the different indices. Uh, let's see, uh, all right, question, question, question. Yeah, so this is the early edition. Uh, we're looking at the time, what is the time? 8.35? I'll be back in a moment, Basil Chapman, early edition of the Tiger Technicians Hour. Be back in a moment. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC 
LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi folks, we're back. And just let's look at a couple of things here applied with some people say can you just look at the uh, uh, you look at the uh, semiconductor so applied materials trading at 159 up 64 cents. There's still some internal strength there. Uh, if it starts to trade in the 165 area anytime this week, that's really good. Close in the 165 or higher area. That is excellent area. And NVIDIA, NVIDIA is trading. Uh, down three at 289 and that's the thing that says to me it's very mixed even in the semiconductor area fantastic company uh, having done everything right now let's see if they're able to keep that up but in the meantime it's it hasn't gone towards the uh, 340s the, the uh, all-time most recent all-time high so we're watching this one closely let's go to the one Marvell also an amazing company and it um, soared with the earnings report and it screamed up to the 93.85 level on the 8th of December. And it's just really gone sideways since then. And this is saying to me that if there was follow through uh, good news, it would have broken into stocks that go to 95. This went to 93.85. Stocks that go to 95 invariably, very quickly, go to the 103 to the 105 area. So this has just been stuck sideways. And I suspect that that is telling us that the earnings and the reality are just not quite in sync. And we're going to be watching this closely because if it gets, if it closes at 95, that's going to be really positive in all time frames. Uh, the monthly is a little extended visually, but the technicals are all still very, very good. So it would take a move down to 82. It's at 88 right now to say, uh oh, this is starting to fail. If we look at, um, let's just look at the oldies, like the Intel. Intel just stuck. It's in the low range and it has had a nice rally of 48 low uh, up into the 54 area, uh, right at the 200 period moving average. I think it's just kind of stuck there. Advanced micro devices, we had a call the other day or had a question, and I said, it's, it's acting well, but not well enough. I think advanced micro devices might have seen its best uh, best performance, and now it's just kind of digesting all those gains. So I consider that at down 92 cents pre-market today, uh, Wednesday, the 5th of January at 143.60, uh, I, I would just say to you, that PD in the weekly chart looks like it could turn into a dreaded age pattern. But the only reason why we, I, I said to subscribe, we, we're not going to do any shorting of the semis right here. I just need some proof of what's going to happen today. I see residual strength. You can see it every every pullback. You know, the S&P, look at this. Uh, let me just go to the uh, futures, the E-mini futures S&P. Look at this. This is the this is the 10 minute chart. Look what happened. It went to this, it, it gave just a fabulous peak D top yesterday, right there in a cup formation. Right side was uh, much weaker than the left side at about the same price. So at about 4808, uh, around about 940 last night, what happens is 
it starts to come down, come down, and it has a big move to about 2 o'clock this morning at the 4, 7, 6, 8 level. Was this all last night or was that? Yes. And then it has a big spike. This is the 10-minute the, the chart. And then it goes at 4 o'clock. Oh, was that 4 o'clock yesterday? Oh, oh, that was intraday. It had that, uh, the sharp move down. I should know this. I, I was trading it. Um, and then it popped up at 4 o'clock to the 47.94 level. And then it sidled all the way down in this rectangle formation towards the left side base that was made at about 2 o'clock. And then what happens at about 47.66, it starts to rally, goes peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, and that is it. And that was at 5 o'clock this morning. Yeah, 1 o'clock it goes down to the low. And so this morning it was at 47, it's amazing, 65.50. And it ran all the way to 47, 80, 88, 87. And now it's trading at 47, 80. You know, if this was going to be a really bad session, you'd be down 22 to 26 points right now in the E-mini. And that would say, forget it. You're not coming back to the rest of the day. It's going to be a very weak close. This is there's still enough buying. And that's the reason what I was talking about. When I put the potpourri of all these different aspects together, when I went to uh, Charles Schwab, which unfortunately we aren't in anymore. We had it under 80. Yeah, it is at 89. Just got stopped out. For, for a profit, but that wasn't good enough. And I didn't get back in. And, yeah, and this is telling me the public is in. The general public, this is Charles Schwab broker. All-time high. Yesterday. Was, no, no, I shouldn't say all-time high until I check it out. I believe it is. Yep, way, way all-time high. Now, the last one is at about 60 back in 2018. Goes down to 28, round number low, um, um, March of 2020. 28, it goes down to 89. This is fantastic action. And that just says to me, there are buyers out there. Don't get too cute. Just allow things to play out. If, if, if Whatever you're looking at, if it's really weak, let's just look at, say, CRM. Um, this is salesforce.com, which is a fantastic company. Nothing wrong with the company. But look at the price. Doji Candle High at, um, you know, at 311. Uh, 0 0.78 uh, way back on the somewhere around the 8th of uh, November if I remember correctly it had a round number somewhere oh there it is 310 round number on the on the 9th with a 311.70 something high and uh, that was a doji weekly candle and now it's down to the 240 area just a big digestive phase for some great companies. CRWD, yep in the den CRWD CRWD crowd strike Holding cybersecurity in the cybersecurity area makes an all time high 298.28 on the 9th, the same day. A lot of stocks in that in the in the tech area made them, and it's made the lowercase h to a lowercase m in the daily. That's the dreaded m pattern, and it's gone below and it's trading pre market down 270 at 186.49. It just these stocks need a breather, and that's the reason why I say I don't want to get too excited about the short side unless you're able to pick up these stocks, individual stocks, and and get a, a real a real uh, a winner out of them. But yeah, this is just suggesting that CrowdStrike, uh, if, if it doesn't hold this week, it doesn't hold the 189 area, there's a good chance it's going to retest any of the lows, the one that came on the, on, in May of 177.29, or the one that came in March of 168. Uh, 168 is 20 points down. It's not a big deal. But it will be a big deal if it comes together with the, with the, the Dow and the leaders starting to pull back. And at this point, we aren't seeing that. It is selective. And if in the selective area, it's it, it's to your advantage. Question I had here was, oh, oh, oh did, can you do the financials? Yeah, look at this. Uh, XLF, look at that. Spike to the upside yesterday. Almost a new all-time high. 40, actually, pre-market, it's up 14 cents at 40.71. Yesterday's high was 40.70. So that could extend that leg C. Um, that's the reason why I said to subscribers. I don't want to get out of our Bank of America, which we bought it in the 31 area. Um, look at this. Bank of America. Look at that leg C. Up at 48.31. I love this. 
This is the action that you want to see. Selectively long. And we have no shorts at this point. You should have shorts, but if you don't, it's selectively long enough to work that. I'll be back in a moment. Bowser Chapman, final segment coming up. I'll be back. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, Bowser Chapman. Yeah, this is the Wednesday edition, early edition, 8 o'clock this morning, and now it's uh, 8.54. So we don't know where the market will be at this time later, later today when I do my show at 10, which will be re recorded. So and, and I will not be here tomorrow. So I just want to let you know. And don't forget, stay, stay tuned because at nine o'clock, I don't even have to tell you, most of you know, Tommy Jr. does his show, the market kickoff, fabulous show. So stay tuned. Great programming all day today. And uh, let me just say that the Dow right now is trading. The futures are trading uh, down just three ticks. And the S&P futures are down too. We'll see what happens by the end of the day. You, there's a rotation correction going on. If you're in the wrong area, it is just horrible. You're in a bear market. But if you're in the right area, you're sitting there saying, okay, whoa, thank goodness. It's, everything's working out okay. Or maybe the majority of your, your positions are. And that's what you got to, what is working is working. I had a question in the den about TWI. TWI is, in fact, uh, if I can see it from here, uh, Titan, 
international. They make those huge ties. Talk, talk about Titan is trading at 11.90 up 10 cents. It had a move just in the last two weeks from the seven area. Fantastic. Leg D in the daily, leg B in the weekly, and leg D in the monthly. This is what I'm saying. If you're in the right area, well, we, it's been on our list for a long time. We actually didn't put it in. One of the Dennis had, a couple of Dennis have it. Fabulous, fabulous stock, TWI, trading at 11.90 right now. So, um, handing you over to um, uh, great programming coming up, and uh, stay tuned. And I'll be back uh, on Friday. So, um, check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. Uh, we've had some really nice positions in there. And we're watching things very closely, I can tell you that. And we'll see where the Dow closes. If the Dow is down 40 points or more after uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon, probably it's going to be a weak close and most of the other indices will be pulling back. But, but wow, if the Dow is up about 40 points or more, that's just going to say, be relentless here. Stay in place because things are not as bad. And look at the, look at the jobs report. 400,000 more than they anticipated. 800 instead of 400. Things are actually looking a lot better. I'll be back on Friday. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.